Well, hello, good people of the interwebs. Uh, today marks the day of the release of WWE 2K14. I went out today and got my copy. It's all paid for. And um, currently I am taking a break from it, which I am actually um, in before before tonight it is over with. I will pretty much finish the first storyline called Hulkamania Runs Wild. And yeah, I have the Ultimate Warrior. The Ultimate Warrior add-on with my copy. So therefore, here's a few things I want to tell you that I think you'd like to know. Well, since uh, 2K Sports took the brand from the defunct THQ, things have gotten a little better. And I will say this, things have gotten a, l a lot better as 2K Sports took the helm of the WWE game franchise. Now, even though, <coughs> even though I have this, I have to say, eight megabytes to save a game. That's that's so much better than the usual, you know. That is so much better than the usual, um, like a gig to save the whole game. Like if I were to show, um. If I were to show the 2K13 one, or WWE13, I would say, you know, that was just too much, just just to save one, one whole file. Uh, not much has changed except for the layout. Now, the layout, because it is totally different from previous wrestling games, the layout for the, the the for the road for the WrestleMania storyline total nostalgia, total total nostalgia. As you start off with uh, Big John Studd and Andre the Giant, and then you move up the ladder, and you're gonna do the same thing like you did the la the last the last game, which is basically pull off historical objectives just to unlock just to unlock um, certain characters, arenas, and managers, and the like. <clears throat> I have to say, the response time for for the um, for certain matches unbelievably better. They tweaked it just a bit, just so you can enjoy it. But to me, when they actually pulled off the old school, the old school feel of it, like Ponty, you know, like going to Pontiac and Madison Square Garden, just to name a few. You have to admit, from where I from from what I had to work with with WrestleMania, WrestleMania one to where I am now, which is six, and the match being the Ultimate Warrior versus Hulk Hogan, the date April first, nineteen ninety, the location Toronto, Ontario. And the title is for the championship match. Title for title. Well, I can't, I can't, I can't say anymore. Because, <clears throat> unlike the other games, which you had to basically almost break your hands and break your controllers in order to actually get all the objectives, 
the objectives are even more simpler this time around. Even getting achievements are a little more simpler. And that's a good thing. Even with the online achievements, it's not so bad. 13, I, I had to say, I just, I, I really just, I just lost track of it. I, I mean, not track of it, but I just lost interest. With 14, it renews my interest in wrestling. Because I don't watch wrestling on a daily basis or a weekly basis. Well, this is the next best thing. Plus, I like reliving the golden age of wrestling. Before we all grew smart and actually cared about storylines and much less the matches going on. I cared more for the matches than some silly ass storyline. But that's just me. I am a wrestling fan. Don't get me wrong. I just like the matches more. But I have to say, I put in about at least two hours before I left before I left for dinner. And for the two and for the two hours that I put in, wow, I've just been I just been racking up win after win after win. And that's just in the WrestleMania. That's just in WrestleMania, mind you. If it were anything else, I'd pretty much be like doing 20 minutes per match. And I only have one creative wrestler. Second so next row. See, we went to, we went to Panda Express before, uh, we went to Panda Express. I had this on the entire time. Because I wasn't really doing anything. I was just sitting here, and I was contemplating about dinner. So I figured, well, after all this, I did say that I was going to whip out a couple of videos. So, of course, the first one is going to be about the recent installment of 2K14 added to the added to the WWE franchise of games. All I have to say is I have re I have really been enjoying this game. I will most likely when I'm pretty much done with all the all the matches, I will make creative wrestlers most likely creative wrestlers for the RCO. Or uh, the RCO. As well as other characters that just kind of sit in my head. And of course, with me, I don't really give a damn about storylines, so... I mean, that's just me, because I feel... What's to tell? There shouldn't be no storylines, you just beat the living shit out of each other. So, yeah, I do plan on making pretty much everybody in the freaking RCO. As a, as a, as wrestlers, will I show them off? Only if I get permission by 2K Sports, because they have certain stipulations about their products. So therefore, I can't do anything unless I get permission. That's how it is. But in any case, if you haven't picked this up yet. You should. If not for the Ultimate Warrior, get it because you love the Golden Age of Wrestling from the 80s to the 90s. Now, I'm, I'm, I don't really care much for now. But get it for the nostalgia factor, and, and you'll have to agree. It will most likely just blow your mind and hopefully a little something else. So, what I'm probably going to do later on tonight is of course finish up the first storyline and probably play some Blue Dragon and maybe some Dragon's Dogma or I might just um, do more parts. 
And um, that video is coming up very shortly. Well, yeah, I recommend for those who are wrestling aficionados or love the fact, or, or just love the classics like the Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah! And let me tell you, brother, what you gonna do when Tick Car Mania runs all over you? Anyway, um, I'll see you around with more videos. <laughs>